This is a Squiz podcast. We're your shortcut to being informed. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Amanda Bauer. It's Wednesday, August 17. In Squiz Kids Today, Spider-Man says no to social media, a teenage shark attack hero, Japanese parents' poo problems, and Fritz the baby hippo. That's what's making news, kids style. The Lowdown. Tom Holland, whom you and I know better as Spider-Man, announced yesterday that he had deleted Instagram and Twitter from his phone and was taking a break from social media for his mental health. The 26-year-old Marvel star recorded a three-minute video for his 67.7 million Instagram followers, whoa, that's a lot of fans, and said that he had gotten completely caught up in reading things about himself online and had started to spiral. Spiralling in the mental health sense means that you start to feel bad and that makes you feel worse, which makes you feel even worse. Imagine water going down the plug hole in a spiral pattern. That's how being online made Tom Holland feel. And he's not the only one. Earlier this year, Australia's National Mental Health Survey found that more than half of young people said that their mental health was declining, which means getting worse. And 42% of them said that the main reason was social media. So if you feel worse about yourself after being on social media, you could always take a leaf out of Spider-Man's book and take a break. Tom Holland is being hailed as a hero for speaking up about his mental health. Over on the south coast of WA, they're celebrating another hero, a teenager who saved his best mate's life. After 17-year-old Luke Pascoe was attacked by a shark, Connor Shirley pulled him out of the water, remembered the first aid he learned in school to stop Luke's leg from bleeding, and then piggybacked him for two kilometres over rocks to his car and drove him to hospital. Luke says he wouldn't be alive if Connor hadn't been so brave and thought so quickly on his feet. Oh, and Luke doesn't blame the shark. It was attracted to the fish he'd just speared. Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a news story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed in Japan, where parents with kids in daycare have a bit of a poo problem. They drop their kids off in the morning in a clean nappy and when they come back to pick them up, they're given a bonus bag full of the dirty nappies that their kid filled that day. Not all daycares have this take-home policy, but it is very common. Now, why on earth would a parent want more pooey nappies in their life? Apparently, the main reason the daycares gave for sending the stinky stuff home is so that parents can open up the nappies and check on the health of their child's stool. Stool being the medical name for poo. Is that really what parents want to do? Not this mum. News hounds. Squizzy is back with us today to fill us in on something he sniffed out online. And this time our faithful news hound has been to space. Early yesterday morning, the Russian Space Agency released plans for ROS, a Russian-built space station, which seems to suggest that Russia really is planning to leave the International Space Station after more than 20 years of collaborating with other countries. The reason for going it alone? Well, Russia didn't like it when those countries criticised its invasion of Ukraine. But what Squizzy really wanted to check were viral reports that the head of Russia's space agency had threatened that the 500-tonne space station would fall to Earth if Russia left. Yikes! Squizzy got straight to fact-checking. He found that, yes, Dmitry Rogozin really did threaten on Twitter that the station could fall out of orbit. But the same person has also posted online that astronauts could get to the ISS using trampolines or broomsticks, so we probably shouldn't believe everything he says. Second, Squizzy found that Dmitry Rogozin had been replaced a few weeks ago as head of the space agency, and that the ISS will be able to stay safely in space even without the Russians. Nice one, Squizzy. 
Animal Kingdom. Warning! Squiz Kids is issuing a severe cute alert for this segment. Click on the link in the episode notes at your own risk. You may find yourself booking a ticket straight to the Cleveland Zoo. The American Zoo's newest social media star, a baby hippo, was born on August 3, and the animal care team asked the public for name suggestions. They received 90,000. It came down to two finalists, Fritz and Ferguson, and yesterday it was revealed that Fritz was the name with 200,000 votes. Fritz has a big sister, Fiona, who weighs 900 kilos. Fritz is well on his way to catching up, though, having doubled his birth weight already. Fritz and Fiona. Don't you love alliteration? Time for the quiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. What's the main reason young Australians gave for their declining mental health? Yeah, that's right. Social media. Question number two. In which country do some daycares give parents a bag of their kids' pooey nappies each day? You got it. It was Japan. And question number three. What does the ISS, which is not coming crashing down to Earth, stand for? That's right. It's the International Space Station. Shout out. It's August 17, Indonesian Independence Day. There's nothing like fighting for freedom to unite a country of more than 17,000 islands and 700 languages. If you want to learn more about Indonesia, including its dragons, Squiz the World is visiting today. I'll put a link in your episode notes. It's also a special day for these Squiz kids celebrating a birthday today. Cooper from Croydon North, Mia from Forest Lake, Easton from Canley, Annabelle from Bondi Junction, Ardell from Kilmore, Fahin from Warunga, and Fia listening over in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And a belated birthday shout-out goes to Nina from Cherrybrook. Classroom shout-outs today go to Class SP4 with Mr White and SP1 with Mr Blythe, both at St Pius X Primary School in Warrnambool. To Year 3, 4 and Miss M at McLaren Flat Primary School, Class 4HO at Radford College in Bruce, and because they are big supporters of Squiz Kids for Schools, it's a shout-out again to Class 5-6AB at Mount Carmel School in Yass. Don't forget, if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout out, or if you want a classroom shout out, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au. That's all we have time for. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Squiz Kids.